Hello, this is Andrew from SideChart, and today we're going to be adding a NuGet package, uh, a SideChart NuGet package, to a new Visual Studio project. Uh, so first of all, using your favorite uh, search engine, have a search for SideChart NuGet. And the top link, you should get our page, Getting Nightly Builds with NuGet. Now this walks you through the whole process, um, but to help you a little bit, we're going to show you how to do it. Um, you need to grab this feed URL if you're using Visual Studio 2015 or this feed URL if you're using 2012 or 2013. I'm using 2015, so I'm going to grab this one. Now in Visual Studio, we're going to go to Tools, Options, and under New Get Package Manager, Package Sources, Add a New Package. And we're going to call this the, uh, the SideChart 2015 Package Source and paste in the URL. Now once you've done that, you'll need to create a new project or open an existing project. I'm just going to create a new one, a WPF application. And once the application has started, you can now use NuGet to reference the package. There's two ways of doing this. The first one is to right-click References and click Manage NuGet Packages. And the second one is to use the Package Manager Console. We're going to use the Package Manager Console because it's just a little bit easier and a bit more explicit. So package source, you should have SideChart 2015 in the list now, but you can leave it on all. Make sure the project is selected and all we're going to do is install package SideChart. There we go, the package is now installed. Um, you should be aware that there are actually three packages in SideChart. We have SideChart.DirectX as well and SideChart3D. Um, each of those will pull SideChart as a dependency. The references have now been added and every time you build it will grab that package whether it's on the build server or not. So we should be able to go ahead and create a SideChart surface now. And with the lovely ReSharp plugin you can see that it uh, creates the type and it adds the namespace as well. If you don't have ReSharper, well, we would of course recommend that you do get it, but the namespace is simply this here. Hopefully you can see that. And there we have it. We have referenced SciChart from NuGet and built our first SciChart surface.